polls finding that President Trump is trailing several of his 2020 Democratic contenders. With former Vice President Joe Biden topping Trump by 10 points, 49 percent to 39 percent. <clears throat> Senator Bernie Sanders leads Trump by nine points, while Senator Elizabeth Warren has a two-point edge. And both Senator Kamala Harris and Mayor Pete Buttigieg are up by one point. Yeah, it gets a little more difficult, uh, Jonathan, when Fox News is basically mirroring what your own internal pollsters who you're firing uh, are saying. Right. The, the private point lines up. And by the, by the way, <laughs> anyway, just for everybody to know, this is really great news for the president and it's great news for the White House because it finally does allow somebody to walk into the president and say, Mr. President, you're losing. You're losing big. Everybody's saying it. You know, you're going to have to change. How do you think that conversation is going to yeah, go? Yeah, I was going to say. I don't think anyone. <laughs> well, is it, there anyone who has the guts well, to say anything to I, him in the administration right now? Anybody? Name one. Somebody. I mean, you, he might listen to his daughter, who's in there. But no, that that is <laughs> that has been that has been what has happened yeah. over the over the last year and a half. In particular, is the erosion of the guardrails, the erosion of the there adults in the room who could walk in there and say something. And even when, so, now, mind you, it didn't always work. But now there are people who don't even exist. Mick Mulvaney, his chief of staff, has said publicly. Oh he just tries to empower him. He doesn't try to rein him in. Wow. Mike? <laughs> this is bad. I, I I don't see who would go in there. <clears throat> Even Ivanka. Not yeah. healthy. Yeah, I mean, he might listen she to her, but has he, not. he believe her? I don't think so. I mean, so. he's not going to believe anyone on a poll, poll that suggests he is losing. Yes, I mean, the campaign, campaign can Okay, react. so can I ask you this question? Please. From everything you know about him, you, you cover him, you cover the White House. So you said he's not going to believe it. Does he not believe it, or does he just not admit publicly? that he doesn't believe. Because he'll find a way to cheat. He's certainly not going to admit publicly. Right, but do you think that I, I he think understands that, uh, the trouble that he's there in? There are moments where I think he did. He did. In 2016, there were moments during that campaign he recognized, especially those last six weeks, when he actually was rather disciplined on the trail. He knew that he was under the gun and that he had to perform. Mm -hmm. I think it, the, the reporting that we've pieced together is at this point, he hasn't really done that yet. He still believes in himself. He believes that he's recreating the comeback narrative yeah. of 2016. He believes the economy is booming, and that will be his vehicle to get reelected. I think there's a sense he knows it'll be close but he believes he can do it. But you just talked about a booming economy. Right. Can you believe any president having these numbers when unemployment sitting at 3.6% in the ongoing no. nine-year right. it's, Obama it's unprecedented recovery? to be this week with this kind of an economy. Yes. The question I have, Jonathan, is really, um, has he not been shown those numbers before by his own staff? Did they come as a surprise to him? It's a question for all of us, right? But as part of his reaction, his own staff won't show him the bad news. And what you saw in the reaction to the NBC report is this ferocious pushback, stupid, bad polls, old polls, but they were real, according to Brad Parscale, just old and outdated. Right. But I'm curious if he even knew those polls existed. Well, certainly, yeah, the story, the response to those poll numbers changed. Where at first, like, they're just completely not true. And then it's like, okay, they're true, but they're old, and we, yeah. we're doing better now. I mean, on these polls, but other matters, too, his staff doesn't bring him the bad news. They know not to. There are certain subjects that can't be spoken of. Russian election interference, they don't say the word Russia in the Oval Office. Uh, and I think this is a trend of that. This is a president yeah. who doesn't like to be confronted with bad news. He will react. They know how he'll react. He'll explode. Let me ask you, Joe, mm -hmm. as, a, as a somewhat keen observer of American politics. Uh, I, no, that is not true. He can, wants something. Can you, can you tell me the last time the President of the United States stood